Hi Virgo, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person or if their heart is with someone else. In the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified to support this channel. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. We have uh, the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Devil, clarified by the Seven of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. And uh, we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Capricorn, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, I've got some bad news and some good news. Uh, the bad news, um, I don't see you here. Virgo, I see this Queen of Wands, I see another person either running back to this Queen of Wands or running to them because they can't resist this person. The good news is that there's two spreads in this reading and uh, in the second spread we'll look at, the, like I said in the introduction, we'll, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. But in case you want to know the details about this spread, stick around, right? Or you can fast forward. So yeah, we got this uh, Queen of Wands, right? Most likely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And they're, they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, they're coming back to reclaim their person, to reclaim their ex. If this is... Well, right next to the Queen of Wands, we have uh, the Devil clarified by the Seven of Swords. So yeah, whoever you're dealing with, whatever their zodiac sign is, they're going to be unable to resist this offer from this Queen of Wands and they're either going to run back to them if this is their ex or they're going to run straight to them with the Devil and the Seven of Swords, right? The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, it's a card of a deception or it's a card of somebody who runs away, right? And uh, the Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with but the Devil could be the reason because they they can't resist this uh, Queen of Wands, right? Because they feel like they're attached to them. Okay, and uh, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups, yeah, uh, the Six of Wands belongs to the Queen of Wands, this is a card of victory, it's a card of success, and uh, the Two of Cups, clarifying it, there's two people in the Two of Cups, one of them is the Queen of Wands and the other one is the person you're dealing with, the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a commitment to marriage, right, so yes, um, I don't know if the person you are dealing with did this on person, on, on purpose, that's what I meant to say, on purpose, so they could uh, trigger this Queen of Wands to come back to you, to come back to them, but, um, you know, whatever the case, whatever the scenario, like I said, I, I don't see you here. Granted, absolutely anybody can uh, embrace the energy of the Queen of Wands. You can embrace the energy of the Queen of Wands, I can embrace the energy of the Queen of Wands, but uh, I don't see you here. It doesn't feel like a Virgo here. All right, so yeah, a second spread. A new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's uh, the second spread, Virgo. This is new love coming towards you in the near future. We have uh, the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Swords. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. And we also have this, uh, the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, or an Earth sign, just like you, Taurus, another Virgo, Capricorn, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This right here definitely feels like a Virgo spread. <laughs> it really, really does. Even though the two of you show up as the King and the Queen of Swords, but that still makes sense, right? The the other the remaining cards are all Pentacles, and the, you're the King and the Queen of Swords. This is my power couple. The King and the Queen of Swords is a power couple and um, you are supported by all these pentacles, right? It's like you are going to conquer the world together, right? And by world, I, I mean whatever your world is, you know? Or you can expand the horizons of your existing world and conquer beyond the horizon. <laughs> this is some serious stuff, okay? Yeah. The King and the Queen of Swords, a power couple. You're on the same page. Perhaps you have similar ideas, similar goals, similar interests. And uh, you're going to build this empire together with this person. 
Speaking of building empires, the Three of Pentacles, the first card I came out, this is a card of collaboration. Perhaps that's how you're going to meet this person. For some of you, this is somebody who is already in your life, right? This uh, card could be as, a, as a, you know, a place where people work together in the team environment. For some of you, this is somebody you work with, do business with, somebody you go to gym with, somebody you take a class with. Or what that means is the two of you are going to be building your empire together, right? It's, it is a collaboration card, but in this case, in this scenario, this is the two of you collaborating and building your world, your empire, your family together, right? I've, this Three of Pentacles is so underrated. Uh, this usually means when the Three of Pentacles come out, comes out, this means that both people involved see the potential and therefore both people are going to be putting time, effort, whatever is necessary into it because be, both people wanted to work out, wanted to succeed. Both people have this common goal, right? The Ten of Pentacles right next to it is a rock solid commitment to marriage. Rock solid. Right with financial, uh, with finances doing really good with uh, real estate, uh, perhaps uh, like I said, you can build something more than just a family together. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Pentacles right next to the deck. Yeah, Earth's energy continues. The Knight of Pentacles is the most stable, the most grounded knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term, always talk, talks about strategy and planning. All right, <laughs> and the Six of Pentacles clarifying it is an equal give and take connection between you and this person. It makes total sense, right? The King and the Queen of Swords, equal give and take, two equal partners, two uh, you know parts of the uh, power couple. Wow, Virgo! If anybody stands in your way, I feel sorry <laughs> for them. You know, and by what I mean is, if anybody tries to stop the two of you from accomplishing this, they will feel sorry. Okay, so yeah, wow, I'm impressed, I'm very impressed. So yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Virgo, for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it, please also share and subscribe, and uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing March.